Today is 420. Now, for job purposes, some of us got to act like we don't know what the hell 420 is. But unless you've been sleeping under a rock, you know what 420 is, okay? But just in case, I'm going to explain it. 420 is the day reserved for people who like to fly. For people who like to fly, okay? Snoop Dogg is probably the godfather of 420. No, Cheech and Chong. But for my generation, it would be Snoop Dogg. Today is an interesting day for me because I can't even partake in the festivities. You seen the last video, you know what I'm saying? You seen the, the inhaler. I might have seasonal asthma or something else. We don't know, but we're not going to dwell on that. And it's not like I don't have no, I don't got no gas. Last week, my son's godfather came out here from California. My boy on a world tour. You know what I'm saying? That's a story for a whole nother video. But my boy on a world tour. He came from California. You know it's legal out there. He bought some he bought some gelato. He bought this. And you know, I can't even I can't even touch it. I just been every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Just oh. I think my penis just jumped. I think my penis just jumped. This joint smells so good. It's sealed so tight. It's, it's holding in all the freshness. But I, I can't partake, man. I haven't I haven't smoked in a long time. Like, believe it or not, I haven't smoked in a long time. It's been going on like eight months now. I'm proud of myself. Don't don't get it twisted. I'm very proud of myself. It's just sometimes, you know. You be wanting to relapse, but I ain't relapsing at all, bro. I don't know what what the hell going on. I got the seasonal asthma. I got to use the pump. It's over with, bro. I ain't touching nothing unless somebody cooking it. So, you know what I'm saying? We might cook this and see what happens. But I decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell y'all a, a quick little story, man. All right, this is one of them stories I vowed I would never tell anybody because... You, you, after you come to the end of the story, you're going to be like, oh, ew, wait, what? But, you know, I don't care. I know who I am as a person, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it is what it is. So, of course, this is a smoking story. My boy, who I haven't seen in, in years, man. I ain't seen this man in... Prior to that, I, I think I haven't seen him in like 13 years. Graduated from high school together. He visited me in Atlanta. And of course, you know, his ex-girl was living in Atlanta too. So, she visited. And we all chilling, you know what I'm saying? Catching up and stuff like that. And at the time, I was smoking. I know his ex-girl liked to smoke. And, um... I don't think he don't smoke. He didn't smoke because he's in the. Uh, I'm saying he's in the the navy, so he didn't smoke. So anyway, I went out. I got some bud from my man's. I came back to the crib. We rolled it up, and you know what I'm saying. It was me, him, her, and my wife. And you know we. Passed it around. Smoke. But he didn't smoke, of course, because he's in the military. So, And I, I applaud him for being so disciplined. You know, and when you partake in them type of festivities, you speak. You know, it's, it's, it's a fun time. So anyway, the day passed. She left. He left. He went back to Cali. And you know what I'm saying? couple months down the line me and him having a conversation but now I ain't really think I ain't you know what I'm saying I ain't think about the contents of our conversation until a few months later or like probably like a year later after we had the conversation because this this incident happened in like 2018 
So anyway, he was talking. He was like, man, he was talking about how he, he not he missed his ex-girlfriend, but how, like, she's, she get down. Like, she, you know what I'm saying? She's, she's a freak. So I'm like, what you mean? He's like, bro, we was in your bathroom about to get it in that day when I came over. I was like, for real? He's like, yeah, but, you know, she had her situation, so she ended up giving me head. Now, I want you to think about what I said before, right? So I'm like, okay, damn, that's crazy, you feel me? So, like two weeks ago, me, me and Danae, like, we randomly driving, bro. I don't know where the hell we was driving to. And, like, it just popped up in my mind. And I was like, yo, hold on. Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? 2 plus 2 equal 4. 5 plus 5 equal 10. Hold on, bro. I remember that we had smoked that day. And I'm remembering that this man just said that this man told me that she gave him head. So now, I'm calling his phone, bro. I'm calling his phone because I want to know, yo, did she give you head before or after we smoked the weed? I couldn't get in contact with him. You know why? Because right now he's deployed. He's out in the ocean somewhere. And I'm bothered. It's bothering, like it's it's really it's it's bothering me because I really want to know when was the uh, the fellatio given? Was the fellatio given before or after we smoked the weed? Now, if I'm remembering correctly, I feel as though it was after because I do remember we smoked. Um, we cracked the bottle of Henny, and you know what I'm saying? Like, they had disappeared after after a while. But at the same time now, I don't know if I'm forcing myself to remember it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if my imagination and my pride... Is making me remember it like that. But then again, that's my man's though. So I already know, like he he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have did that, bro. He would have told me. He would have been like, yo, nah, yo, 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 hold on, bro, chill, chill out. He he would have did that. So I don't feel as though, but I want to double check. So as soon as his ass get off that boat, we gonna we gonna have a conversation, bro, cause. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, y'all might not. <clears throat> we gonna have to have a conversation, bro. Cause I, I huh. you feel me? You gotta be careful of the situation before you you, you partake and go smoke with people. I don't smoke with couples in their house. You feel me? Really, I don't. When 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 I was lighting up like that, bro, I didn't even like to smoke with people. I just smoke by myself. It's me, or I will smoke with my wife when she want to. But you should just be me. I don't like smoking with people, bro, because sometimes you got to really pay attention. People might lace it. Folks might, they have the little extracurricular stuff that they like that might, that might you know, affect you the wrong way. Or, you know, they, they like the story I just told. Folks finish doing some type of freaky nonsense with their mouth. <sighs> And now you sitting there smoking penis residue. Shit bothering me. I ain't gonna lie, it's kinda bothering me. But that's a story, man. Some of y'all might find it entertaining, some of y'all might might be like ill. But yeah, bro. You gotta be careful who you smoking with.